2 Samuel 17. And we finished on Thursday by looking at the first four verses. Um, I just want to remind us of what's going on here. Um, so Absalom has rebelled against David, is you know, trying to take the kingdom from him. David has fled Jerusalem. Uh, one of David's counselors, Ahithophel, has defected over to Absalom's side. And it's a major blow to David, uh, because as we read in <clears throat> the final verse of chapter 16, is verse 23, Now in those days the counsel that Ahithophel gave was as if one consulted the word of God. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel esteemed both by David and by Absalom. All right, very highly esteemed counselor Ahithophel is. Uh, and we'll, we'll say more about just how highly later on in the lesson today, Lord willing. Um, but it's a major blow to David. And so David, as he is leaving Jerusalem, and he hears that Ahithophel has defected, first he has prayed to God to turn Ahithophel's counsel into folly, into foolishness. Um, so he, David is asking for Ahithophel's counsel to be thwarted. And then David also acts on that. He meets uh, one of his friends, Hushai, and he tells Hushai to go into Jerusalem and to basically become a double agent for him, uh, to enter into Absalom's service as another counselor and to defeat the council of Ahithophel. And that's what brings us to chapter 17. So at the end of chapter 16, um, Hushai has been brought into Absalom's service and... Um, Ahithophel has given his first piece of advice, uh, which is that Absalom should publicly go and take um, all of his father's concubines as a means of uh, strengthening his own position and as an offense against David. Well, now we get to the, the real contest between Ahithophel and Hushai in chapter 17. Let's read the first four verses. We're not going to comment more on these than we have already done on Thursday, uh, but to set the context for what we're going to study today. Moreover, Ahithophel said to Absalom, let me choose 12,000 men and I will arise and pursue David tonight. I will come upon him while he is weary and discouraged and throw him into a panic and all the people who are with him will flee. I'll strike down only the king. And I'll bring back all the people, I'll bring all the people back to you as a bride comes home to her husband. You seek the life of only one man, and the people will be at peace. And the advice seemed right in the eyes of Absalom and all the elders of Israel. All right, so Ahithophel's advice is let's go make a very sudden strike at night. We'll scatter all of David's people, which David doesn't have very many people with him. We're just going to hunt David down specifically, and we're going to kill him. And in that way, the loyalty of all Israel is going to be won over to Absalom's side. Uh, right, that's uh, Ahithophel's expression is, I will bring all the people back to you as a bride comes home to her husband. Which is not uncommon language in, in talking about the way that the nation relates to the king. Um, so, anyway, Absalom's going to have the whole nation to himself. Let's uh, have a word of prayer, and then we will see Hushai's side of things. Righteous Heavenly Father, we thank you for blessing us with all the good things that you've given us today. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for this time that you have given us together to study from your word. We thank you for the opportunity that we will have to worship. Uh, Father, we love being together, and we are so thankful that you have made us one body in your Son, Jesus Christ, that we can consider your word together, <clears throat> that we can encourage and uplift one another. And Father, help us as we consider your word to discern the truth of your word. Help us to apply it to our lives. We pray, Father, that we have a fruitful study this morning and fruitful discussion and that we may all be edified by the things that we consider uh, today. We thank you, Father, that you have blessed us in your Son, uh, not only in assembling us as your church, but in all of the things that 
your son has done for us. We thank you for his ministry on earth. We thank you for his sacrifice, his death that cleanses us of our sins. We're thankful for the hope that we have in the resurrection. And Father, we are thankful for the certain knowledge that he is at your right hand interceding for us. And that as we confess our sins to you, you are righteous and just to forgive them. And Father, we are also thankful for the hope that we have of, uh, of your son's return. We know, Father, that the ways of this world will not be allowed to go on forever, but that you will send your son to judge the living and the dead. And so, Father, we pray for endurance and to be patient and to wait for that day. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Okay, so let's continue straight on into verse 5. Then Absalom said, Call Hushai the archite also. Let us hear what he has to say. And when Hushai came to Absalom, Absalom said to him, Thus has Ephithophel spoken. Uh, shall we do as he says? If not, you speak. Then Hushai said to Absalom, This time the counsel that Ahithophel has given is not good. Hushai said, You know that your father and his men are mighty men, and that they are enraged like a bear robbed of her cubs in the field. Besides, your father is expert in war. He'll not spend the night with the people. Behold, even now he has hidden himself in one of the pits or in some other place. And as soon as some of the people fall at the first attack, whoever hears, of it, hears it will say, There's been a slaughter among the people who follow Absalom. Then even the valiant man, whose heart is like the heart of a lion, will utterly melt with fear. For all Israel knows that your father is a mighty man, and that those who are with him are valiant men. But my counsel is that all Israel be gathered to you from Dan to Beersheba, as sand by the sea for multitude, and that you go to battle in person. So we shall come upon him in some place where he is to be found, and we shall light upon him as the dew falls on the ground. And of him and all the men with him, not one will be left. If he withdraws into a city, then all Israel will bring ropes to that city, and we shall drag it into the valley until not even a pebble is to be found there. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The counsel of Hushai the Archite is better than the counsel of Ahithophel. For the Lord had ordained to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel, so that the Lord might bring harm upon Absalom. All right, so now this contest between Ahithophel and Hushai comes to a head. Uh, Absalom calls for Hushai to hear Ahithophel's counsel, give his opinion on it, uh, and offer a second opinion, if need be. And so here's where Hushai undertakes his mission. Uh, 